Hi, I'm uh, Noah Buck, and this is my wife, Shamim. And we have five children. Zion is our oldest. He attends school here at Southwest. He's a junior. We have Ezekiel. He's a freshman. He just started coming here. The next one is Zephaniah. He's in eighth grade. Jasmine is in fifth grade. And then Zayden, our little guy, he's in third grade. We have a lot of friends that attend this school and I heard so many great things about it. The kids currently go to a Christian school now. They've been going since kindergarten, so a Christian education is super important to us. When I came to this school, I kid you not, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit come over me, and I immediately felt like this was going to be home. I just didn't know how that was going to work or how that was going to look. But um, when I sat in at that orientation and heard all the wonderful things that they said this school had to offer, I was just in tears of, of everything about the school. And I right away went home and told him all about it. I'm like, we have to pray. We have to figure out how this can work. Everything they said just lined up with what we believe. And it was really just Bible-based and just really wanted to encourage the children and build them up, um, just like the scriptures say, right? <laughs> and so it was really powerful to know that they had action behind it, you know, and not just talking and just saying, you know, um, just to get someone to their school. I was just so moved by everything the teachers said, Mr. Beckering said, the kids and the students had to say some really great things. And I did a lot of my own interviewing process, talking to all my friends. <laughs> not just the parents, but the kids too, on what their experience was here and how they felt. I just felt like we gotta just really pray and we need to try this out. Barb was really, really encouraging, really helpful, and she really encouraged us just to apply and trust God and see what happens. And so it was a big leap of faith. In the books, it didn't look possible. Um, but I went through the application process, which really was not too difficult. The kids filled out their portions too. God always seems to find a way to provide. So through that, we are so thankful to say that it allowed for us to be here. Honestly, it just reminds me of being in the boat and there's Jesus, right? And you got the storm and you got all kinds of stuff going on. I kind of look at it as my life. There's just a lot. There's always stuff going on. And it's like, he just wants you to take the steps. Like Shamim said, we prayed because we already thought, hey, wow, this is this is gonna be a tough mountain to climb. You know, how are we gonna do this? And so I had to go to, to the Holy Spirit God and just let him orchestrate it. And then we just took the steps as we followed, you know, him and here we are. I think it's awesome they really encourage you to um, try it all and see where you fit, see where the Lord leads you yeah, sure. and what, what giftings really do shine. But it's beautiful because the, the community, even at the soccer games, they just come together. I love that Southwest is really involved in their future and what God has for them and how they can shape them and help them with those giftings is really great. The teachers make a huge impact to this school, make a huge difference because they're so relational with with them. I mean, I, I feel like some of the teachers definitely treat them as their own kid. You know, they're involved, they are, they're caring, they're supportive. They like because I have Mr. Burka and he prays for our class individually at five in the morning for us, which I think is really cool, but he also provides a lot of outside help. I can confidently say because of my oldest son going through this school, that he was, he's able, he's, he's being equipped to be able to handle what's out there. And he's, he's, he's got a step on the game, he's, he's ahead of it. And the biggest thing is he's got the foundation of, of God and, and, and that's directing and leading him. And, and the school comes around him for his dreams and his visions and his focus. I would say that words can't express enough the gratitude, the thankfulness, the appreciation it literally is life-changing, not just for us, but for our children to be at the school 
And if God's pulling on your heart or you're feeling, you know, any inclination on you don't know if this is going to make a difference or if this is going to impact anything, uh, just know that it does because we couldn't be here without this program. It means so much to us to know that we're working alongside you to help raise these kids to be the next leaders of this world that we live in. We need good leaders and without this program, um, it's not possible for some people and um, we're just so thankful and so appreciative of everything.